Hey guys. <coughs> so, excuse me. Usually I don't get a hick in my throat until about four minutes into the conversation. So uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Marita McCurr, uh, the Europa title. I'm having a lot of fun with it right now. I'm on turn six, and it's been uh, it's been really interesting because the uh, you know I feel a lot more comfortable with the Europa system per se. So you know getting working out the combat system and supply and movement and all the little niggly bits that go along with that uh, game. Uh, and the actual uh, specifics for the module are really interesting. The interplay between the, the Greeks and the Italians and what they're doing and how they accumulate victory points and how that impacts what happens uh, in uh, Yugoslavia, what happens with German intervention, what happens with the uh, British uh, you know, potentially uh, evacuating once they get a certain number of uh, units on the board. Uh, all of that all ties together and I haven't really unraveled yet how, I guess, how what the best approach is. You know, the, uh, Fortunately, the or fortunately, I guess I don't really know. The Italians are doing quite well, so they've they've pushed the Greeks uh, back uh, probably uh, two hexes back from the Albanian border, and have driven pretty deeply along the coastal road on the western side of the Greek coast, and that has caused some concerns for the Greeks. The Greeks' losses are starting to mount a little bit, and the Italians have lost a lot of units, but they've managed to really uh, stick it to the uh, stick it to the Greeks from perspective of victory point accumulation and we look at that every turn uh, at the end of every turn we do a calculation based on the number of uh, Greek units that are in Albania the number of Greek uh, units that are killed the number of battalion units that are killed depending on the type i.e. mountain units are uh, particularly valuable uh, for VPs for the Greeks and the Greek and the Italians get uh, receive victory points for uh, both uh, controlling mountainous hexes and non-mountainous hexes and so the tally has uh, assuming I'm doing it correctly is rocketed up pretty quickly <coughs> excuse me so it's been pretty interesting and I, I was looking where I was expecting you know the Greeks to really kind of hand it to the uh, Italian forces and they did initially uh, push into Albania and hold a couple of hexes. They get two VPs a, a turn for that, which is not a whole lot uh, relative to what the Italians get. So I'm, I'm almost wondering if the Italians kind of need to feign uh, losing more and kind of game the system to get the Germans in because the Greeks won't fail uh, or uh, what's the collapse? The what is the word they use? The Greek collapse doesn't happen until the Germans intervene. The Germans won't intervene until you know victory point thresholds and things occur, and it's a bigger chance of that happening if the if the Yugoslavian coup has happened, and that won't happen if something else has, oh, something else hasn't happened. So it's been uh, six turns of uh, rip roaring good times, uh, even uh, with the the um, you know the mishap we had on turn two or whatever. I'm going to reset things. So, uh, just want to share that with you, and I'm going to get back and uh, start playing and uh, let you know what's going on later on. Ciao.